Hello and Assalamualaikum. We are from Code Device Group. First, let me introduce me and my friend. My name is Muhammad Hakim and I am a project manager. My name is Muhammad Aikal Aizad bin Ahmad Fazli as a data scientist. My name is Muhammad Nakidin bin Muhammad Zaini as a data analyst. My name is Muhammad Afi Razwan bin Muhammad Razi. I'm a Codebytes data engineer. Okay, now let's continue with introduction. Google Play has grown to become one of the most popular Android app store. Mobile applications are one of the fastest growing areas of the down downloadable programming application market. We choose Google Play Store from among our business sector due to its increasing prominence and fast development, uh, uh, fast development and growth. One of the fundamental explanations behind this frame is the way that about 81% of the application are liberated from cost. Uh, the market has in well to more than 800,000 apps and more than 200,000 special vendors in April, April 2013. This quick market has prompt over 500 million clients downloading around 40 billion apps around the world. For problem statement, Google Play, Google Play also serves as a digital media store offering music, books, movies and television programs to draw actionable insight for developers to work on and capture the Android market. This is because to analyze the apps that would produce the most revenue. Therefore, developers need to make an analysis because too many applications are made but it's not downloadable or not useful at all. It's to ensure that developers get a return or make money from the hard-earned result they put, on, put out in terms of ideas and time. They also need to do research on target users who often download apps on certain criteria that mostly succeed in attracting users. It makes apps produce successful to attract users and is capable of generating financial. Uh, for objective, there are three main objectives, which is first to collect data and details of application like apps rating from Google Play Store. Next, to develop a data analytics system to gain insight and trends of Android application in Google Play Store. And lastly, to extract user knowledge hidden behind the data. Next, I'll pass to Afiq Razwan. Okay, I'm Afiq. So I will explain about these two graphs. So for the research question is uh, which type of availability uh, which uh, in term of free or payment has more downloads. So for the donut charts, why we choose uh, this charts? Because uh, it is required a very minimal explanation as they are very easy to understand. If the data labels consist of percentage, each round will divide 100%. Hence, by vis visualizing using donut charts, we can see the difference in percentage of the type of avail availability, free and paid. The larger the section in the round of, donut, of the donut chart will determine which availability type based on category apps is more dominant and vice versa. As shown in the donut chart, there are 8.87k from overall analyzed apps are free type and only 0.75k are paid types. On the other hand, a bar chart will show each data category in a frequent distribution. It also display relative numbers of proportions of multiple categories. Thus, we can see the installation number of the availability type based on category by utilizing bar chart features. Free type apps generally receive more downloads than paid, than paid types apps because they are expected to cost nothing to the user. It is proven in the bar chart. As we can see, the installation number of free types apps have exceeded billions and left far behind the paid type. That's all from me. Thank you, Afrik, for your clear explanations. Next, I'll take over from here. Hello, I'm Nakudin, a data analyst. So next, I'll explain about our second graph uh, on our second question, which is, what is the popular category based on the number of installs and reviews? So uh, in this question, we use scatter plot to represent our visualizations. So we use scatter plot uh, because it is to observe the relationship between the number of installs and the number of reviews. So just by using a scatter plot, uh, we can see the relationship between the both uh, of this variable. Um, and we also use size um, to 
to to show uh, to show the, the the shape the the size of the shape uh, by representing the, the size of the shape so the bigger the bigger the size of the shape in the circle um the 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 bigger the size the average size so what does this uh, this graph the uh, explain about so this graph um is basically um what we get from this graph is that the bigger the number of installations the more reviews were left on the category apps and based on this graph game has the game game is actually quite big in size but it has the most uh it has the most download with more than billions downloads and it also have the largest number of re reviews which are billions num uh, uh billions number of review as well so this shows that game is actually game category is actually quite famous in terms of installations and reviews so the least famous uh, the least famous category is comics comics that have only around uh, hundreds of reviews hundred thousands of reviews um it is actually quite small the size is also small the number of installations and the review is also small so this conclude that um the number of installation depends on the reviews itself so uh, let, let's proceed to the next graph, which is the uh, which related to questions number three, which is how many positive, neutral, and negative reviews are based on the category of applications. So based on this graph, uh, I use a bar chart graph because bar chart graph is easy to represent and easy to understand, uh, as we have many uh, many data category. So let's say um, I want to choose art. Uh, I want to choose art and design. So it will show the number of reviews. Uh, the number of positive, neutral, and negative reviews based on based on the category that we selected. So, as mentioned in question two earlier, the review is dependent on the number of installations. The more installations, the more review left on the apps. So, in this data set, only a few reviews were selected to be analyzed. So, as we as we said earlier, as we look take a look earlier, game has the most number of installations. Thus, game also has no, the the most number of reviews. So, review is important as uh, it is needed to build trust with the future user as review is shown in the page. So, and usually people will read reviews first before downloading the apps. So that's why reviews is much more important. It's the most, it's the most important thing. It's one of the most important things. So next, I'll pass to my friends. Hakim. Uh, hi again, my name is Hakim. Okay, let's continue with uh next graph uh, where at uh, which the research question is uh, which Android version has more users? Uh, to know which Android version has more users, three map visualization three map visualization has been used. We use this visualization because the area of each rectangle is dependent on the amount of data is present and have different colors to make it easy uh, to clearly differentiate each data set. To, deter, to determine which Android version has more users, it is based on the size of a rectangle. If the size is bigger, then the number of users for the Android version that install application is many and vice versa. From the visualization, visualization above, there are billions of users that install application using Android that varies with device. This is because it is more easier and more flexible as it works on any kind of device, whether the old Android device or or the old one. Okay, next I'll pass to my friend Haikal. Okay, thank you, Akim. Uh, my name is Mama Haikal Aizad. Okay, for this graph, the research question is uh, what is the most popular category of app based on age content rating? Okay, we decide to use a Sambus chart. What is Sambus chart? Sambus chart, known by a multiple name such as ring chart and radial tree map, is used to visualize a hierarchical data set. It shows uh, it, it show hierarchy through a series of concentric rings. Each ring represents a different level in the hierarchy. Okay, Why we choose Sambus chart? Because Sambus is the perfect graph to gain insight on the data that need to be drilled to, through to understand the information. Based on this graph, it is possible to identify the most downloaded category of app based on the target audience. <coughs> From the graph above show, the most popular category of apps produced for everyone is the communication category that has more than 10 billion downloads. This is because communication apps are commonly, 
commonly commonly used and easy for everyone to get connect with other like parents friend and teacher okay from the graph above it give overview and understanding thus it is encouraged that every developer needs to have an overview and identify the target audience before developing an application okay that's all for me thank you So these are basically our full dashboard that we combine it all. All of the graph will combine in one page. So we can play around with the dashboard so we can see all of the things that we want to um, um, to, to be shown in this graph. So we can use the slicer here. So next, uh, last but not least, I'll, 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 I'll give a full analysis based on the graph given. So the technology era is here, and more than ever, technology-related startups are springing up all over around the, over the globe. So smartphones are also frequently used, and more and more development business are investing in, mo investing in mobile app development in order to capitalize on the increased demand. So in practice, however, this isn't the case as mobile app developers confront a, a slew of obstacles in development and design of their apps. So by understanding the key factors towards the success of mobile app development is very crucial. So for the investigation is needed to understand the major contributing factors. So from identifying the age range, understanding the category of apps, until, compatibility, until the compatibility of the apps towards Android versions need to be fully investigated. So firstly, developing, developing an application needs analyzing phase. Developers are encouraged to analyze all the apps that were provided in Google Play Store. Game category has the most number of installations with more than 1 billion downloads, while Comet only has less than 15 million downloads. So analyzing the reviews also is uh, significant as it acts as the feedbacks from the user. So analyzing the review can help developers to improve application and understand the user need and expectations. Remember, always bear in mind that users are our target. Their needs and expectations are our priority. So in addition, the target audience also has their own preference based on the age content category, age content rating that was set by Google Play Store. Identifying, identifying, identifying the target audience is the first step that needs to be highlighted. Not all each regions like and use the same thing. As an example, teenagers. The most downloaded apps for teenagers are from the social category. Thus, developing an application that does not interest teenagers like the parenting category need to be avoided. Developing a specific application based on age range interest is important as we do not want to waste time and resources to develop something that will not attract our target audience. Next, based on the visualization as well, free type applications have, more, have much more downloads than the paid type applications. This shows that people like to have free access as it is expected to cost nothing to the user, as mentioned by my friend earlier. 92.1% 92, 92 of applications and less are free type applications. Thus, it concludes that in order to have a more installation, the developer needs to develop a free type applications. Um, but the free type apps doesn't generate a great amount of income. My answer is no. This is where marketing knowledge needs to be applied. The application may be free to download, but the developer can generate more income through and through a function named in-app purchase. Developer also can generate more income by binding contracts with of advertisement with other companies. You can embed the advertisement inside your applications. So the company will pay you for advertising their products in your apps. So that's how we will generate in more income. Furthermore, as Google Play Store is available on various kind of Android versions, thus it's very critical to ensure that our applications are compatible with the latest version of Android and the device model. In the three maps shown, more than 39 billion downloads are applications that vary with device. This shows that applications that vary and suitable with any devices need to be corrected as our target audience may have different kind of devices that support different kind of uh, Android versions. Developing a flexible app is needed. <laughs> no, it's not needed. It's a must in order to have more, uh, in order to have more number of users. Developing an application is easy. Now this is even a 10 years old kid can develop an application, but developing a good application is hard. More analyzing, investigation, and understanding is needed to develop a good one. All of the phases from planning, requirement, gathering, analysis, design, development, testing, deployment, maintenance need to be done in details. If you fail to develop good apps once, get back up and learn from your experience and develop a new one. Never give up. We, we have to think smart. Developing app, an app is not just technical. 
but it's more than it. It covers IT, marketing, and even management. So you got this. Good luck. So uh, I'll pass to Hakim to make the conclusion. Okay, uh, thank you, Nakudin. Okay, to conclude, we are able to collect the data of application in Google Play Store using Kaggle. Develop the data visualization dashboard to gain insight and extract hidden knowledge behind the data through data visualization. The develop dashboard able to help to view the insight and trends of Android application in Google Play Store. Thus, helps developer to be understand and make better decision. Uh, I think that's all from us. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.